Good morning. Once again, my name is Matt Lorch. I'm a news anchor and reporter at Q13 News in Seattle. And for me, like so many people in this room, being here this morning is personal. If I could share a photo on the screen. So that is my brother, Jeff, and his son, my nephew, Caden. Back in 2013, Jeff wasn't feeling well, so he went to go see his doctor. His doctor did some routine blood work. Well, later that day, Jeff went back to work. His doctor called him, said, Jeff, go to the ER, ER immediately. His kidneys were failing. He had 8% function at that time. So it turns out that Jeff has a genetic condition called Alport syndrome. His son, Caden, who was six years old at the time, looked at Jeff and said, Daddy, are you going to die? And Jeff said he didn't know what to tell his son. Within one month, Jeff was on dialysis, 10 hours a day for 18 months. Thankfully for Jeff, his family, and our family, we found a match. And if I could share another photo, the match happens to be another one of our brothers. So as you look on the screen, that is Jeff, the recipient on the left, and Jordan and his son on the right. The transplant, it was incredibly successful. Jeff and Jordan are both doing really well. In fact, the donor Jordan just ran a marathon in London. Uh, doctors believe that this kidney may serve Jeff for 30 to 40 years. Now, with that said, what Jeff went through, what his family went through, is incredibly difficult. And many families in this room have traveled the exact same journey or similar journeys. It is taxing and it is scary. And the outcome for all these families is often uncertain. We want to be there for them. So I commend you. You are here bright and early because you care and you want to support families in our community in their critical time of need. So thank you for being a part of the solution this morning. And here's what I'd like to do. Don't just take my word for it. Please turn to the person on your left and turn to the person on your right and say thank you for being a part of the solution. Go ahead, go ahead. You guys are fantastic. So the breakfast you're enjoying this morning doesn't just taste great. Be comforted in knowing it's also good for you. Most of all, it's good for your kidneys because it's low in sodium and it's low in phosphorus while still being really high in flavor. You also will not find any salt shakers on your table. Some of us were looking earlier. That is also very intentional. So Northwest Kidney Centers wants to keep your kidneys happy and healthy by cutting down on salt, and this is one really important way to do that. If you have been to this event in the past, if you're a Northwest Kidney Centers patient, staff member, or donor, you probably already know that the life-saving medical treatment of dialysis, it was invented right here in Seattle in 1960 and that Northwest Kidney Centers was founded two years later as a nonprofit, community-owned organization to put that critical discovery into action for the benefit of our community and really the world. Since then, millions of people have lived longer, healthier, better lives, all thanks to dialysis. Here in our region, four out of five people with kidney disease receive their care from Northwest Kidney Centers, the third largest nonprofit dialysis provider in the country and the eighth largest overall. We could not do this community work without community support. And we want to take a moment right now to share our appreciation for our sponsors. Please hold your applause until I recognize all of them. The events signature sponsors, Aldrich and Associates, Ascend, and the Kidney Research Institute, the event's presenting sponsors, Amgen, Brightwork Consulting, Davis Wright Tremaine, and UW Medicine. We would also like to thank Amgen for its significant role as a nephrology partner over the last 30 years. And we know how special it is to be celebrating a 30th anniversary. 
the event's premier sponsors, U.S. Bank and Virginia Mason Medical Center. Today's platinum event sponsors, AHT Insurance, Puget Sound Kidney Centers, and Swedish Medical Center. And today's Breakfast of Hope Platinum sponsor is USI. Also, please be sure to read the names of the gold, silver, and bronze sponsors. Those are all in your program today. Let's give all of our Breakfast of Hope sponsors a really warm round of applause for what they do for families. You know, really, because of the generosity of the businesses and organizations who sponsor this breakfast, every dollar you donate today, it's going to go directly to support family services that Northwest Kidney Centers provides, as well as uncompensated care. If you are one of the 1,800 people whose kidney disease has led you to Northwest Kidney Centers, if you're a spouse or a partner, or the child or the parent of someone who receives their care at Northwest Kidney Centers, then you know that living with this chronic disease doesn't just affect the person who has it, it affects the entire family. Northwest Kidney Centers steps in to help everyone in what really is a family affair. Your donations today will help support all those in those all in the family services, as we like to call them, along with charity care, and here today on video to tell you about her family's experience with kidney disease is U.S. Congresswoman Jamie Herrera Butler. Please take a look at the screen. Hi, I'm Congresswoman Jamie Herrera Butler, and it is a privilege to be able to pop in to your 17th annual Breakfast of Hope, if only via video. I wish I could be with you in person. Your commitment to helping people with kidney disease overcome and live their best, healthiest lives is exemplary. Many of you know my family's story and how I got involved in kidney and transplantation work. My daughter Abigail was the first baby ever to survive bilateral renal agenesis or Potter syndrome. She was born without kidneys. They were non-existent and a couple of years ago my husband Dan gave Abigail one of his kidneys and we became many experts on something you all know a thing or two about, peritoneal dialysis. I'm happy to see, say that Abigail is a happy, healthy, vibrant five-year-old big sister. She divides our family into two categories. Half of us have two kidneys and the other half, half of us have one. Stories like ours make the work and advocacy of Northwest Kidney Centers so critical. You're on the front lines with patients and their families. And I imagine for some of your patients who don't have family nearby, for those of you who are nurses and technicians and administrators, you are the family. Keep up the good, hard, rewarding work. Our families depend on you. Thank you. So as Congresswoman Herrera Butler just said, people like you who support Northwest Kidney Centers play a huge part in its mission. You'll also get a chance today to double the impact of your support. Thanks to generous donations from friends and family in honor of one of Northwest Kidney Center's most loyal friends, Bill Peckham. And we're gonna have more on that opportunity in just a bit. We also have a few special guests in the room with us today. They are elected officials and their representatives, folks who work tirelessly on our behalf. And so we wanna take a moment to recognize them. Washington State Representative Roger Goodman, Washington State Representative Cindy Ryu, Kate Baumgartner, Seattle Outreach Director for U.S. Senator Patty Murray, Marvin Ang, District Representative for Congressman Adam Smith, Benjamin Studley, Congresswoman Susan Del Benny's Community Liaison and Veterans Constituent Services Representative, Zach Karstensen, Director of Outreach and Engagement for Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal, and Thomas Stukes, Outreach and Constituent Representative for Congresswoman Dr. Kim Schreier. Thank you for your support in what we do. As I mentioned, our keynote speaker today, who you're gonna hear from in just a bit, is NBA legend, Coach Lenny Wilkins. And he is joined at his table this morning by another NBA legend, Jamal Crawford, and his wife, Tori Crawford. We would like to mention, 
I was just connecting with them. They have a very personal connection to Northwest Kidney Centers. So Tori's father, who is also with us this morning, has had two kidney transplants here in the Pacific Northwest and all of his support services have come through Northwest Kidney Centers. So would you please stand, Jamal, Tori, and Lucas, thank you for being here. We just wanna take a moment to recognize you and your family's story. As we mentioned, this is a family disease and the Crawfords are another family that's been impacted. So we appreciate them being here today and helping us in our mission. Now here to tell us more about Northwest Kidney Centers and its commitment to serving people and families affected by kidney disease is the organization's president and CEO, Joyce Jackson. <laughs> 